I just recently got a mandolin. It's this Galveston F style of tannin mandolin. It was my uncle's, but he can't play it anymore because of his arthritis. So he figured that giving it to me would give it new life and some good use. So I'm very excited about that and learning how to play it. Um, but it doesn't currently have a strap on it. So I wanted to try to make my own strap just so I could customize it and I felt like that'd be fun. So in this video, I'm going to document my process of doing that. My materials that I have picked out are some belting or strapping. It's one and a half inch by two yards. And then I have this adjustable slide buckle. And then I also have some paracord. And the fabric that I picked out, flannel. I have a quarter yard of this fabric and it has guitars on it because why not? I'm going to make a belt, which I could just make a strap out of this and leave it as is. But I'm going to make a sleeve out of this fabric so I can customize it more. Just why not? What I did earlier with this piece of yarn right here is I put this loop end around the headstock and then twisted this end around the one strap button that is on there to figure out approximately what length I want. And since I'm also making this adjustable, I'm allowing some extra room just to have options. So now I'm taking this piece right here and figuring out how long I want to make it. I feel like this should be a pretty good length. This loop right here is for the paracord at the top that's going to be this loop around the headstock. And then this folded over bit is so it's adjustable. So I'm going to cut it about here probably as the length for the main strap piece. So that piece is about 50 inches. And then I'm also going to have another piece that's kind of doubled over like this. And I'm going to sew it and then have another paracord attachment here. And that's going to be the part that goes on the strap button itself. That part I don't need to account for for the fabric. So this fabric itself is only 43 inches wide. So I'm going to have to attach two pieces together to make it a little bit longer. But that's alright. I just have to make sure I do that when I start sewing. So this here is my detailed design. This here is the basic idea of how I'm going to make the strap. I have paracord here, and this is the part that's going to loop around the headstock. And then this is a little loop over of the main strap length that's going to be sewn. And then this is the slide buckle, so I can adjust it, which loops around and then comes up under here. And then here's another piece of paracord. I could do a second buckle, but I don't have one, so I'm just going to tie some paracord around it. And then this right here, the same belt material that's doubled over and then cut in a triangle shape so it looks nice. And then I have it sewn. There's a little loop at the end so the so the paracord can attach it. And then there's also going to be, this is where the hole for the strap button is. And then down here is the fabric. It's about four inches wide. The part that's actually the sleeve part is three and three sixteenths of an inch. This itself is only an inch and a half wide, but there's an, a little bit extra for the height of it. And then I have about three eighths of an inch of seam allowance. And then the full sleeve length will be 50 inches since it's a little bit longer than my fabric. I'm gonna have to attach two of these together. So now I'm gonna go ahead and iron my fabric just to make sure it's nice and flat before I start. And also go ahead and get the belt lining. Now I'm measuring four inch segments on the fabric. You can't quite see it from the angle I shot this at, but there's a grid line on the cutting mat I'm using. And I'm also using this ruler to line up all my marks so I can get one straight line with four inches across the whole way. Continuing that here. And now I'm cutting it with a rolling like pizza type cutter thing, which is really helpful for to do a lot of sewing. And it's on a um, mat that you can't, like it's called self-healing so you can't cut through it so that's really helpful too. And then I'm at, Measuring for a seam allowance and pinning it so I can go ahead and sew it. And then here I'm sewing it at the sewing machine. And that is the nice seam. Now I'm ironing it so the seam is flat. I'm also ironing it in half so I can sew it to make the sleeve. And again, I'm measuring my seam allowance. I'm taking um, 3 8 inch marks, which are measured on those dots on the cutting board, and getting it a nice straight line. And once again, I'm pinning it. And there I go, sewing it. I'm following the line that I put for the seam allowance along the whole way.
and then I'm taking all the pins out and turning it inside out. I had a bit of trouble with this, but I figured that if I put a safety pin on the end, I could pull it through pretty easily and get it inside out. Now I'm feeding the belt through the sleeve that I made. It's similar to how I did it with the safety pin, but it's a lot easier because it's stiffer and longer. And I'm trying to make sure that the seam is centered on the back. And I ironed it to make sure it was nice and wrinkleless, and also centering the seam again. And here I'm making the paracord for the end part. I'm making the loop on the end of the belt and then I'm sewing it so there's space for the paracord. And I measured all the paracord that I need and I'm going ahead and burning the ends so they don't unravel because nylon it has like plastic glue kind of in it. And then I fed it through and tied it in a square knot and put some super glue on it to make sure it stayed nice and tight. Now I'm checking it again with my piece of yarn so I know how long at least it needs to be and I'm cutting it. And then I'm putting the belt loop on it so I can make it adjustable. And I'm sewing the end part after it's folded over. And then I'm trimming off the excess so I can make the strap button attachment. And I'm cutting it into a triangle so it looks nice. And sewing that, leaving the little gap to have the other piece of paracord. And then I'm measuring where the approximate middle is for the strap button hole and using an exacto knife to cut it out. I had trouble so I also had to use scissors. And then I'm feeding the paracord through and tying it around to the looped end of the long piece and then adding some super glue so it stays strong. And now it's time for the finished part.